Right friends, welcome back to question and answer session of uh, 25th week. This is from 15th June to 21st June. As usual, this week also we will have three modules of current affairs. First one is uh, lecture part, second one is uh, news analysis and features and the third one is question and answer session. Right, let us uh, look at the first question, name the union minister who is at the center of a major row in connection with uh, allegedly helping Lalit Modi, former IPL chief for getting British travel documents, for getting British travel documents, the Union External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj helped the former IPL chief Lalit Modi, but the Union External Affairs Minister says that she helped Lalit Modi only on humanitarian grounds, but the experts in the country feel that in India, we are unable to differentiate between personal relationship and professional relationship. In several countries, there will be a dividing line between professional relationship and personal relationship. Right? In some cases in our country, sometimes we are missing this dividing line between professional and personal relationships. Right friends, look into the next one. Vedanta Limited and Kairan India Limited will merge by March 31, 2016, which involves all stock deal of uh, the answer here is 2.3 billion dollars. It is going to be a merger between Vedanta Limited and Kairan India Limited. These uh, two business groups are promoted by Anil Agarwal. Vedanta Limited is into mines and minerals. Vedanta Limited is into mines and minerals, whereas Cairn India is into the exploration of gas and oil. Cairn India is into exploration of oil and gas and these two are going to be merged and the deal involves 2.3 billion dollars. Here the point is Cairn is cash plus company. Cairn is cash plus company. That means it has got the surplus cash whereas Vedanta is into debt. That's why the main worry for the shareholders of Cairn India is they are not happy with the development because the accumulated debts of Vedanta Limited are to be borne by cash surplus Cairn India Limited. Right friends, look into the next one. Name the country where specific text lanes were earmarked for the mobile addicts. The city here is Antwerp. Antwerp city is in Belgium. There they earmarked text lanes because people are sending emails, browsing emails, browsing various text messages when they are walking. So, so as to overcome this difficulty, separate text lines were earmarked probably for the first time in the world that is in Antwerp in Belgium. Please look into this. This is the text line, this is no texting. So, separate lines are marked for walkers who want to walk through texting or through browsing something through mobile phones. Right friends? This shows the days ahead in the world. Right friends? The oldest surviving parliamentarian and sister-in-law of Jawaharlal Nehru died recently. She is Sheila Kaul, died at the age of 100 years. She lived 100 years. She was a former governor of Himachal Pradesh. At the same time, she got elected to parliament five times from Lucknow as well as Rai Bareli. And she is the sister-in-law of Jawaharlal Nehru. So, famous politician Sheila Kaul at the age of 100 expired recently. Look into the next one. Name the country where one of the companies developed emojis in place of PIN in banking transactions. Normally, Four digit PIN is used in the banking transactions. We use PIN number 4536 3498 like that. But in place of a PIN, one company from London devised a new system of using emojis. You may ask what is emoji? Please look into this picture. These are emojis. That means instead of typing the PIN number, you are required to press at these emojis. These are in the experimental stage and developed by a London based firm. Look into the next question. Recently, China flagged off a train from Harbin city in northeastern China to Hamburg city, which covers around 9,800 kilometers. A freight train carrying freight from China 
left Harbin city in China to Hamburg city. Where is this Hamburg? Hamburg is the northern port city of Germany. In Germany, Hamburg is the important port city situated in northern Germany. Last year, China ran a freight train from China to Madrid in Spain, more than 10,000 kilometers. Now, another freight train left from northeastern Chinese city of Harbin to Hamburg city in North Germany. It shows that Central Asia is going to be integrated in due course of time through freight trains over a length of 10,000 kilometers from China right up to Germany. Right friends, the answer here is Germany, Hamburg city is in Germany. Look into the next one. Name the organization which is planning to distribute asylum seekers among its member countries. Asylum seekers. Lakhs of people are trying to escape unrest in the North African countries as well as Middle East countries. All of you are well aware, Syria is into problems, Iraq is into problems, there is problem in Libya as well and the citizens want to escape and some citizens from the interior Africa want to escape to avoid poverty, to come out of poverty. In search of greener pastures, people are leaving some African countries, civil unrest in some countries is another reason. Now, European Union, the group of 28 nations decided to distribute asylum seekers among its 28 nation countries. Now, European Union decided to distribute these asylum seekers among its 28 countries so as to ease the problem with Italy as well as Greece. Right friends, look into the next one. Name the country where human rights activists have gone to court against the government's directive to list children with HIV. Kenya government is listing the children with HIV. In Kenya, worst affected, one of the worst affected countries in Africa, there are 16 lakh people who are tested HIV positive in that country. And several orphans, orphans runs into around 10 to 11 lakhs. Under these circumstances, Kenya took up building a database of children affected with HIV, but human rights organizations are protesting against this because of the reason it may lead to discrimination in social and civil life. Right friends, the answer here is Kenya. Exports fell by 20.2% in May 2015 and stood at $22 billion. Our exports are continuously falling for the past 6 months. This is the 6th month in row where exports are falling. Falling exports is not a good sign. Because of the economic downturn in several countries, our exports are falling. Falling of exports for six consecutive months is not a good sign for the Indian economy. We are safe so far because the import bill is also less because the cost of oil products in the international market are less for the past one year. Because of that, we are surviving even though our exports are falling. This is sixth month continuously where exports are falling. Government is also worried about this development. Name the country where protests arose due to the proposed construction of a canal connecting Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. All of you are well aware about two important canals in this world. One is Suez Canal. Suez Canal connects the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea and passes through Egypt. The second one is Panama Canal. Panama Canal connects Pacific on one side and Atlantic on other side. Now, in Nicaragua, a firm belongs to Hong Kong headed by Chinese businessmen, started constructing alternate canal to Panama Canal. This alternate canal passes through Nicaragua. It connects Pacific Ocean with Atlantic Ocean and this connects both the oceans passing through Nicaragua Lake, that is freshwater lake. Environmentalists express their concern about this and if everything goes well, we will have 
ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் கெனால் டு பனாம கெனால் இன் நிக்கராகோவா விச் இஸ் பீயிங் பில்ட் பை சைனீஸ் பிசினஸ் மேன் அட் எ காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அரவுண்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி டு பிப்டி பில்லியன் டாலர்ஸ் லுக் இன் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இந்தியா இஸ் நெகோசியேட்டிங் வித் ஏஷியான் அண்ட் ஜப்பான் சைனா சவுத் கொரியா ஆஸ்திரேலியா அண்ட் நியூசிலாண்ட் வித் ரிகார்ட் டு ஆர்சிஇபி அக்ரிமெண்ட் ஆர்சிஇபி இஸ் ரீசனல் காம்பிரஹென்சிவ் எக்கனாமிக் பார்ட்னர்ஷிப் ரீசனல் காம்பிரஹென்சிவ் எக்கனாமிக் பார்ட்னர்ஷிப் and please don't forget in the world shortly you are going to have two trade partnerships please look into this picture one is rcep regional comprehensive economic partnership headed by china the second one is the tpp trans pacific partnership headed by united states of america on one side regional comprehensive economic partnership headed by china and on the other side trans pacific partnership going to be headed by united states of america and these two trade blocks are going to be formed shortly discussions are going on right and please remember some of the countries are included in both the blocks like australia brunei malaysia new zealand these are included in both the blocks right friends please don't forget RCEP means Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership which of the following platforms is going to launch credit cards next year rupee is going to launch credit cards next year recently they announced and rupee cards were given extensively in recent times to the pradhan mantri jandhan yojana account holders because previously rupee card could not make much headway into the country and it was totally dominated by visa master card but now rupee cards were given extensively around 13 crore rupee cards were given during the past 6 months because of pradhan mantri jandhan yojana they are going to come up with credit cards next year look into the next one name the organization which is going to launch universal bank on 23rd august 2015 the firm here is bandhan financial services limited this is microfinance organization headquartered in kolkata and the bank is also going to be established with the headquarters of kolkata it has got its operations basically in west bengal and northeast and it is going to start universal bank on 23rd august 2015 please don't forget last year april 2014 in april 2014 two firms were given licenses for starting universal bank one is bandhan financial services limited and the second one is idfc and they are required to start their operations within 18 months and 18 months period ends by october 2015 meanwhile bandhan stated that they are going to start their services of universal bank by august 2015 look into the next one name the state government which asked its employees to wear khadi two days a week recently bihar government gave a directive to its employees to wear khadi at least two days a week let us see how it's going to be implemented jayaka mrisho kikwete who visited india recently is the president of tanzania right it is a constitutional presidential republic Tanzania East African country and its president visited India recently right friends look into the next one India organized international yoga conference in Chengdu two day international yoga conference was organized recently in Chengdu Chengdu is in China two day conference was held in Chengdu almost coinciding with the same time when International Day of Yoga was celebrated on 21st June. Agartala Akhaura rail link involves India and Bangladesh. This length is hardly 14 to 15 kilometers. The rail link this Agartala on one side, Akhaura on the other side. Akhaura is in Bangladesh. If this rail link is established, this rail link is 14 to 15 kilometers. And if this rail link is established, freight can reach to the northeastern part of the country very easily from chittagong port from chittagong port freight can reach very easily 
right up to the end of northeast the other advantage is if akaura and agartala link comes up then the train journey between kolkata and agartala will be reduced substantially and the distance may be around 500 kilometers at present the distance if you go around like this is around 1500 kilometers so this akaura agartala rail link involves bangladesh as well as tripura state in india right friends there was controversy with regard to the rehabilitation of the affected people for the proposed 11000 megawatt belo monte world's third largest hydroelectric dam three gorges is the largest hydroelectric dam in the world the second largest is itaipu please don't forget itaipu is situated at the border of brazil and paraguay and the third largest supposed to be once it is constructed it is going to be the third largest hydroelectric dam the name of the dam is belo monte and here environmentalists there is some controversy going on with regard to the rehabilitation of persons affected and please don't forget this belo monte world's proposed third largest hydroelectric dam is situated in brazil Three Gorges is in China. Itaipu is at the border of Brazil and Paraguay, and this is the Belo Monte Dam is in. This is proposed dam in Brazil, right, friends? Look into the next one. Name the country where the 19th Amendment of the Constitution diluted the powers of the Executive Presidency along with other constitutional reforms. 19th constitutional amendment pertains to sri lanka because of 19th constitutional amendment there are a few changes i would like to tell three changes one is the term of president as well as parliament is reduced from 6 years to 5 years second important point is the president cannot dissolve parliament before 4 and 1/2 years third one is president can be elected for maximum two terms only these three are the major changes and sri lanka recently approved 19th amendment to the constitution right friends look into the next one name the country where the deputy leader of aqap nasser al wahayashi was killed in usa strikes he was killed in amman aqap what is aqap Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. AQAP means Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. You are looking into the picture. His name is Nasser Al Wahayshi. He was secretary to Osama bin Laden, and he was the mastermind behind the 2003 attacks in Riyadh, as well as attacks on U.S. embassy in Sanaa in 2008. and he was killed in the usa strikes held in amman please don't forget look into the next one name the country which is required to pay 1.6 billion euro so as to avoid default on 1st july greece this country has to pay 1.6 billion euro before the end of this month they have to pay to international monetary fund european central bank and european commission if they fail to pay by 30th june then that country will be treated as defaulting country very rarely such type of incidences occurs for nations and detailed discussions are going on between greece and european union and with regard to the greece crisis we are going to discuss in analysis part right friends name the country where boko haram fighters killed at least 38 people the country here is niger boko haram is active in northeastern part of nigeria and its borders niger on the northern side and towards the eastern side it is chad and cameroon so part of these countries are also affected because of boko haram because of boko haram northeastern part of nigeria is affected along with it niger chad cameroon these countries are also affected to some extent right friends look into this map 
you can easily conclude nizer is bordering the northern side the chart towards the eastern side right friends look into the next one smart homewares firm nest nest is into designing of various houses that means design of smart houses smart homewares firm nest launched a camera that senses the movement in the user's home and alerts them via the smartphone you went to the office in your house there was some movement and those movements will be tracked in an intelligent manner and messages and images will be conveyed to your smartphone and this was developed by smart homeware maker that is nest please don't forget nest was purchased by google last year for 3.2 billion dollars so nest is now owned by google and probably this application of a smart or intelligent tracking of the houses may have wider applications in future look into the next one name the country whose aviation sector was the red flagged by icao what is icao icao is international civil aviation organization the headquarters is in montreal canada if proper safety rules and regulations are not taken care by countries icao will downgrade the safety level icao will downgrade the rating of safety for organizations associated with the running of aircrafts here thailand's aviation sector thailand's aviation sector was red flagged that means it is downgraded from category 1 to category 2 when the aviation sector is downgraded they may not get permission to fly in additional routes icao will restrict their movement to additional routes that means their expansion may be difficult previously nepal as well as sierra leone were also downgraded in recent times look into the next question japan's softbank established a joint venture with the foxconn of taiwan as well as alibaba of china to develop humanoid robots which can express and learn human emotions they can express human emotions they can learn human emotions to identify human emotions they were designed by looking at the human emotions they can respond in the desired fashion that is the beauty of humanoid robots and recently a joint venture was formed to manufacture humanoid robots and japan's softbank as well as foxconn of taiwan alibaba e-commerce giant of china established a venture to develop humanoid robots and the name of this humanoid robot is pepper please don't forget pepper is the name of the humanoid robot look into the next question in make in india program cisco is making fresh investments of 60 million dollars or 378 crore rupees roughly and cisco is the multinational engineering giant of united states of america is the answer and its headquarters are situated in san jose in california and its well known ceo john t chambers is relinquishing as ceo after a stint with cisco for longer tenure and now chuck robbins is going to take over as the new ceo in the month of july right friends look into the next one name the country which reduced voting age from 20 to 18 it is japan japan reduced voting age from 20 to 18 please don't forget in our country the voting age is 18 years look into the next question shashibala who died recently in a road accident was the captain of women's hockey team she died recently in a road accident in ropar district in punjab right friends look into the next one charles korea famous architect died recently and he is associated with designing monumental structures like vidhan bhavan in bhopal sabarmati ashram in ahmedabad kanchenjunga apartments like that he got his monumental structures and he passed away recently look into the last question of the week 
name the state where a 40 year old local journalist sandeep kothari was allegedly abducted and his body was found beside the railway track in maharashtra sandeep kothari local journalist in balaghat district of madhya pradesh and his body was found near the railway tracks in wartha district of maharashtra answer here is madhya pradesh he belongs to balaghat district of madhya pradesh this is the second incident after an incident which occurred in uttar pradesh all of you are well aware about jagendra singh right friends with this let us wind up this question and answer session please do join for 26th week have a nice day thank you